One of the best ways to create trees in digital painting is using custom brushes. Now, you can draw trees manually with a uh, Wacom tablet or any digital pen, but the quickest way if you want to work efficiently is to create some good custom brushes and they work really well to give you a more of a tree-like look or realistic look. And I'm going to show you right quick how to create a custom brush. And it's really simple to do. And you just have to make one small pattern and then you're ready to go. Now there's no certain rule. You can just play around with it until you actually get the look that you want. But I'll show you how to set the scattering on this brush as well to create some nice foliage for your trees. Now I'm going to close out this one here and I'm going to create a new canvas usually when I create a custom brush I make my canvas size about 300 pixels by 300 pixels I'm going to duplicate this layer here and I'm going to use the defaults always use black when you're creating a custom brush because you can always add your color once you use the brush now if you're creating shrubs and trees all you have to do is just be creative and make some type of a pattern and i'm just going to do one here uh, this is something that i've not tried before i make different patterns all the time for trees so basically all you do is take your mouse uh, if that's all you have or your pen tool and you just start drawing out some foliage type shapes Basically, you can just draw anything you want to. Just be creative with it. If you want to add some thicker edges if you wanted to for, to represent maybe some leaves or just whatever. And then you don't need a large pattern. Just draw a decent little pattern. And as you can see, this is not a very large pattern here at all. Now, after you get your pattern drawn out, then go up to edit and we're doing this in Photoshop by the way you can create custom brushes in any program that will allow you to create custom brushes but I use Photoshop and that's what this program is go to edit and then go down where it says define brush preset then you can give it a name I'm just gonna call this tree 3 because I've made several tree foliage brushes and there we have it and i'm going to exit out of this now i don't need the brush palette anymore or my canvas anymore and i'm not going to save that but i'm going to create a i could draw on this image here but for the tutorial just so you can see i'm going to create a new canvas and i'm going to have it about 800 by 500 pixels 300 dpi and I'm not going to actually save this brush or I could it doesn't matter but I am going to show you how to save this brush so now you have the brush if you scroll down in your brush uh, palette here you'll see where I've named the brush tree 3 <coughs> excuse me all right, this is your brush here so now what you will want to do is you'll want to go over here to your right above your layers panel to your brush presets and you will go to where it says save brushes and it will automatically go into your brushes section here uh, in your presets in your Photoshop directory and you can just name the brush tree three give it the name that you had originally named it and then click save and then you have your custom brush already saved now i'm going to lower this brush size down just a little bit and i'm going to choose a green just something that i would normally choose if i painted a tree and go over to the right again to the brush presets make sure you click that brush 
and then right here next to it you'll see the little brush uh, can with the little brushes in it the little icon just click that to open up your brush uh, dialog here and make sure you choose scattering and I always use mine to to select on both axes uh, that way it just lays down a lot better when you're just laying down your brush pattern you can have your window open and you can actually test this and you can see if the pattern is like you want it to be and if it's not you can always adjust it and, and change it a little bit now I always just imagine in my mind here the shape that I want my tree to be and if you're drawing from a reference photo you can just mimic that shape as well draw this just a little larger or paint this just a little larger and you can actually have any shape that you want it to be and I think I'll stop there with it get rid of that little panel there and I always draw out my foliage first and then I usually put in my trunk and all that last see how it leaves some spaces that's really good you want it to leave some spaces like that because then you can go on in uh, if you've paint, painted your sky and background first then that's going to show right behind the spaces it's going to look more natural and then I like taking a a little darker tone and lowering my brush size you know a little more now just like hitting spots to make it look you know a little more natural you know how if you go out and look at the trees then you'll see that there's a lot of dark spots in between the foliage of the trees You don't have to really get crazy with it. <clears throat> Always check from time to time to make sure my scattering is still activated. And then I'll go in and maybe get a little bit of a lighter green. So I could add some highlights. Maybe go in and do a green yellow color for the highlights is usually what works best and you can add the highlights in where you want to add the highlights in or maybe where you represent the, where the light is actually hitting it And it just looks natural because as you know trees doesn't grow in a perfect straight line or anything they go everywhere the foliage usually goes everywhere and then i'll usually choose whatever color i'm going to have for my branches or for the trunk and in this case i'm just going to draw a simple Just a simple trunk. I'm not going to detail it or anything. Just to give you an idea of how you can actually draw these trees and using these custom brush techniques. And it's really a lot quicker. It's a lot more efficient. And there's really all there are to it. And you can create different patterns when you're creating your custom brush. And you can do all sorts of things with it. Uh, you can create shrubs and uh, even grass. Make custom brush to do your grass with. And your ground. And custom brushes to do anything with. Uh, like this painting that I started doing here for a tutorial. 
you know, all of this was just done with custom brushes, except for the sky, of course. Uh, I've done a different technique with the sky and the little swirls of the clouds. And maybe the mountains, I manually drew the mountains and the trees. But other than that, the ground and the grass and all that was done with custom brushes. And you can create these custom brushes very simply. And they're very handy. And you can make some realistic trees with that. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.